due to popular demand, in this episode of Philosophy, I'm going to create a tutorial for integrating PayMongo into your WordPress website. So before I even begin with the tutorial, I just want to go through some prerequisites for making this a smooth flow and we'll be able to integrate PayMongo into WordPress uh, smoothly. So the very first item that we need to have is a PayMongo account and it has to be an approved PayMongo account because without that, we won't be able to get the API keys. So as you can see, the next thing that we'll require is the API keys and you won't be able to get that unless you have an approved PayMongo account. And of course, and the third thing, I'm assuming since you're watching this tutorial that you already have a WordPress website set up. And we're talking about the WordPress standalone site, not the WordPress.com. Next, we're going to need two plugins, which is the WooCommerce plugins and the PayMongo plugin. So now we're in the very first step where we need to sign up and create an account in PayMongo.com. So let's head over to PayMongo.com. And I don't need to go through all the process, but um, if you want to create an account easily here, you make sure that you can provide the right requirements like the documentation, especially a business permit, whether it's a DTI or a SAC. Just fill up your details and make sure that you have a government ID that you can submit. And usually you take 24 hours or a couple of days to get approved as long as you provide the correct requirements, they'll be able to approve you right away. But uh, since I already have an account, so might as well just log in so I could show you the next thing which will require, which is the API keys. So once, once you're in the account, you're going to see on the left panel where you can see a tab for developers and it's going to show you actual live keys. And you could actually check out their documentation on the upper right in this section. And take note, the other keys that we'll be requiring also are the test API keys. So in which you could click on this toggle, which will show some test API keys, just in case you want to do some testing before you go live. So assuming that you have an approved account, this is the main view that you're going to be able to see in your account. Without going through the first step, you won't be able to receive payments online. So the very next step we need to do is install the two plugins, which is the WooCommerce and the PayMongo plugin. So assuming that you are logged in to your WordPress account, let's go ahead and go to the plugins, add new. And the very first thing that we need to install is WooCommerce. I already have WooCommerce installed already, so um, it's already active, but eventually you're gonna see an install button just in case you don't have it installed. And of course, once you install it, it's gonna go through some um, installation wizard where you need to go through a few steps just to set up your store. Now, setting this up should be based on what your business is and what you're gonna sell online. So I don't wanna go through the wizard and I just wanna go ahead and look for PayMongo. And this is where we're gonna go through the steps. So make sure that you get the plugin by uh, Cinder Tech or Cinder Tech and click on install. There we go, then activate it. So once activated, um, it doesn't have a dedicated tab. You're gonna need to go to WooCommerce in the settings. And then once you go to settings, you can go to the payment tab and then at the payment tag, you're gonna see down below where it says card payments via PayMongo, Gcash, Gateway, Grab Pay Gateway. So um, I wanna activate this first and then click Setup. So this is the option where you'll be able to accept credit card payments or debit cards or anything that's card related. So if we scroll down here, you're going to see that uh, they require the live public keys and the test environment uh, public keys. So we need to go back to our PayMongo account to get those API keys. And those are the keys that I showed you earlier. So first I'm going to get copy these uh, test API keys, copy, paste, then get the secret key. Case. Remember not to share these API keys with anyone. These are dedicated API keys to your account. 
So let's get the live ones and add it here. And then copy this one. There we go. So I want to keep test mode uh, enabled. Okay, because we're going to do a few testings uh, with uh, Paymongo's test cards. So let's just click save. Now we just need to verify we need to check our store. Now this is one of the projects I've been working on. It's a grocery store and um, let's uh, head over and order some items and see the checkout process. Okay, let's order two things. And then if I were to go through the checkout, Then you're going to see down below here where it shows you a section for the PayMongo payments. Okay, this is where you can accept Visa or MasterCard or any other related credit card uh, companies. All you have to do is insert your card number, expiry date, and CVC. Now, as you can notice, we're on test mode. So if you want to do a few testing, you can go search for PayMongo test cards. And then you're going to see this. I'm going to put the link down in the description so you can go directly to it. And it's going to provide you a few test cards. So you can simply just go with the first one and uh, make sure that your checkout would work with these test cards. If not, you could try other test cards as well. So it's brand visa, CBC, any digit, and any future date. So if you go back here, we can just put in like 12, maybe 26, and then one, two, three. So let's go through it just, you know, just for the heck of it. And uh, I'm gonna put in my address, one, two, three. And let's place order. So um, order has received, so it was a successful, uh, payment so no errors there so it means that my card is working properly so what we need to do is if you want to put this to live all we have to do is uncheck this and then save changes so now I want to show you um, an additional step which is a bonus step uh, which will be enabling wallet payments for Gcash and Grab Pay so we need to go back to our settings and WooCommerce, then go down and activate Gcash Gateway and grab Gateway via PayMongo. So if you click here on Gcash, you're going to find what we'll be needing is a webhook secret. So in order to, to get one, uh, you need to click this link over here. By clicking that, you're going to open a new tab. And all you have to do is you need to generate this just once, okay? It's going to ask you for a secret key, which you could get in your PayMongo um, account. So remember to get the live API secret key, okay? Because we want the live one, okay? Then paste it over here. Once we copy that, you can paste it over here. So, and you can generate the web hook uh, right away. So I already had my secret key generate a web hook. So all I have to do is retrieve it. So let me just show you how I'm going to retrieve it if you get to forget about it. So once I retrieve it, it's going to spit out this result. And all I have to do is get this key, copy it and paste it over here. And you're good to go. Uh, this web hook can actually works for Gcash and Grab all together. So the next thing you need to do is actually test it. Now, once we go back to our shop and let's do another test where we purchase a few other products and then let's go to our cart or let's go to checkout right away. Then you're going to see the options below where you could pay via Gcash or Grab Pay. Of course, once you go through with this, it's going to open up. Let's go with Gcash. So it's going to open up a portal for Gcash where you input your phone number, you go next and you're going to probably input your M pin and then you just go on with the purchase. So um, this in our case totally works 100%. And uh, this is the end of the video. I hope you've learned something. I've added all the links in the description box. If you have any questions, you can simply just drop me a message in any of my social media platforms or you can just email me and I'll provide all my details down below in the description box. Uh, thank you and hope this helps you with integrating PayMongo to your online shop.